So we are back at the Brotherhood of Steel headquarters, which is my main camp. If you haven't seen my prior two Fallout videos going over this, I have a tour of the camp as well as this mine shelter here. Uh, definitely would recommend checking them out. You can get some ideas from it and take it back to your camp and maybe just enjoy looking around or, you know, getting a, getting a tour of my camp and everything else that has come along with it. So. Anyways, let's head through the mine here, following the railway, and we're going to branch off to the right to go through the marketplace to get to the vault itself. And in case anybody was wondering, the vault itself is the lobby shelter. Alright. So this is the front entryway of the facility. Turning around leads back out into the mine. I really wish they would change that texture coloring. It looks blue. I think it's supposed to be black. But anyways, at the entryway here, we have a little guard post. Storage to the right. And before we enter the facility itself, we have the electrical storage room. Over on the left here, I created a pseudo... Uh, breaker box, so if one of these switches is flipped, it'll turn off the power to the rest of the facility. It's just something a little fun that I made. Let's head on inside the main entrance. Over to the right here we have the locker room, so any Brotherhood soldiers returning back to camp. This is where you will store any and all of your items. Close that up. And heading on upstairs here, we can see the Brotherhood insignia. Let's head on over into the residential entryway. Upon entering the residential zone, you must go through decontamination to stop spreading your radiation and diseases to the rest of the dwellers. And here we reach the, ra the waiting room, where you are searched and any contraband is taken from you and put into storage here on the left hand side, which it is given back to you upon leaving the vault. Now behind this guard desk here, to the left, we have a power armor repair station for soldiers returning to repair their armor if they were in battle and such. Little said room right here is the commander's uh, office. He oversees the operations in this wing of the facility, so this is where he will be at. Um, this room right here, the reactor room, if I ever get it, if, I don't know, if they make some improvements to it, this will be the server room. So, for right now, it's just a locked room. Um, if Bethesda makes some improvements to that shelter, I'll pick it up. But right now, it's not that appealing. So, after you uh, get decontaminated and any anything you're not supposed to have, such as weapons, are taken away from you, you can then enter the residential zone, which I will not do now, but that leads to the living quarters, which we'll get to that in another video. Over here you can see all the controls for the decontamination showers, as including the switch and a guard station for the entryway and exit. Let's head on upstairs, and this is more so the communications and power armor uh, development area. So we got the Ultrasight power armor and the T60, I'm still looking for pieces. So I kind of left it with toolboxes as if it's being worked on. <laughs> so got the storage there, workbench over there, excavator power armor. And we'll head down here to the little lounge area. 
full T-65 power armor. And a little storage over here on the right. And this is actually the entryway coming up here and going over to the left hand side there. So it all kind of loops around. And I tried to make the best use of space as possible throughout this little shelter area. And I did max out the budget, I believe. So this is using every single little bit of budget that I can. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this, uh, this, enjoyed this video and this little tour and got some ideas for your own shelters. Next up is the residential zone. So once that's finished, I hope to see y'all in that next video. And I will catch you Wastelanders out in Appalachia.